Alright everybody, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the game Haze Piece and why you guys should not be playing this game. It's a base game and I'm about to tell you guys why. Some of you guys might be a little skeptical on why I'm calling this game a scam, yet I have a Yoru and I have a decent amount of level and a fighting style in this game. Uh, but it's going to be, it's going to make sense later. So first, I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of this game. So Haze Piece, this is not a new game. This is Project New World, but revamped like they said in the description. But this actually happened three times, you know, this happened three times. First, it was like the original, original Project New World, you know. I'm not going to lie, Project New World was completely different from uh, Haze Piece or, you know, the revamp Project New World. It's kind of confusing, but uh, the original, original Project New World, just know that one was kind of like trash. Um, that game ended up dying and they closed the game out for like a couple months or even a year maybe. I don't know. It's been a long time since this game uh, was Project New World. But then they released the new and improved uh, revamp Project New World, okay? And the revamp project new world it's pretty much haze piece it's what you guys are seeing now okay and uh they released one lazy update i'm pretty sure they might have released uh some other updates but the only update i remember was the black leg update and you know i just watched this game go from you know thousands of players to hundreds and then none and then they ended up closing down project new world revamp and from that point on there's absolutely no word about project new world again until recently um, this game called Haze Piece came out. I was seeing it on my YouTube feed and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and test this game out. I'm trying to get into One Piece games on this channel, so why not? But little did I know I was gonna be playing the same exact game I've been playing throughout the years on and off. But, you know, the only change they added was they added Gear 4. Now this might be a little bit of a stretch, I'm not gonna lie, they might have added some new stuff, I don't know, but this is pretty much the same exact game I played months ago when the revamp first came back out. Now that I told y'all a little about the history on this game, I wanna talk about what I said at the start of the video of me saying this game is a scam. Now, listen, like I said, this game is the exact same thing as Project New World Revamp, okay, but... They changed the name to Haze Piece, which I'm pretty sure they know what they were doing there. You know, people aren't going to come back to Project New World on a new update because this is pretty much what it is. It's a new update from, uh, you know, Project New World Revamp, but they pretty much rebranded the game to Haze Piece um, in terms of the name, you know, just to get some more players. And then they only add one update. They had Gear 5 or not Gear 5, Gear 4, my fault. And... Uh, and listen y'all, the craziest part about this, or not even the craziest, like one of the most craziest parts about this is that you can pretty much buy the entire update with like $40 and apparently it's on discount. Um, it's originally like 60, but uh, yeah, they, they just uh, put, put the prices down just for you guys, you know. And the sad part about this is people definitely bought this and they made a quick buck off of y'all, you know. And and another crazy part about this is that there's probably people out there buying these game passes that have been on this game for a long time. And, you know, they think this game is a upcoming One Piece game that, you know, it's going to do pretty good and they're hyped for it. They're hyped for the updates. But uh, little do you guys know that uh, with all this money they're getting, you know, they're going to enjoy themselves outside the game, obviously. But uh, then the game's going to die again. Um, maybe they might release a few couple updates or something like that, but you know at some point They're just gonna stop updating the game They're gonna close it again and then with the profits they made on this revamp or I should I should say update You know, this is literally just an update um, You know, they added gear 4 and they changed the game's name But with these profits they made off of this gear 4 update They're going to close the game down again and they're gonna make something like this again And they're gonna do the exact same thing I'm not gonna lie in terms of like business and making money This is a smart move, but like in the way that they're doing this like scamming like a younger audience like like it's kind of crazy bro i'm not gonna lie just don't fall for the scam um i hope this gets out to a lot of you and i hope a lot of you are actually getting to this point in the video and listening to me because like i hate to see people getting scammed and things like this it's not worth it bro go play blocks Fruits, you know at least blocks Fruits doesn't necessarily scam their you know scam their player base um they update the game frequently like blocks Fruits, it's successful for a reason. I'm going to talk about that in another video, but Blocks Fruits is very successful. And, you know, just know you guys are safe with Blocks Fruits. Just go play that. Don't play this Blocks Fruits copy or GPO copy. Just go play one of those. You know, it's not worth it. And if y'all are not liking Blocks Fruits, go play a game called King's Legacy. If y'all don't know what King's Legacy is, is you know, this style type of game, Bandit Beater, straight up, uh, you know, no share coding with it. It's a straight up Bandit Beater, but it's a little more uh, high quality, I would say. Um, 
But yeah, to conclude this video, guys, make sure you guys are staying safe out here and not uh, waste your time on games like this that are just here to scam their player base and take advantage of y'all. Just don't do it. Just be careful when playing any One Piece game in general. A lot of these guys are just looking to make a quick dollar off you guys. Um, you know, it happens with uh, a lot of One Piece games. To be honest, you just got to pick the one that's going to, you know, not scam you the most, you know. Uh, it's kind of sad to say that, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the current state of One Piece Roblox games uh, right now. All we can hope for is that Rel Seas breaks the uh, terrible cycle. Um, you know, I know like people got to pay bills, people got to make profits, obviously. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully Rel Seas saves us from this. We're gonna see some game pass in there most likely, but uh, it's not gonna be as scammy as uh, most of these other One Piece games. But uh, yeah, if you guys made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you guys so much. You know, everybody that's just viewing the video in general, I appreciate you guys. And uh, if you haven't, be sure to subscribe. You know, I usually don't ask this, but, uh, you know, I did play uh, some uh, Project New World, or I should say Haze Piece, for like five minutes straight, which is excruciating. I hate bandit beating. But uh, yeah, nah. Um, on a real note, I hope you all have a good one and uh, peace.